Have you ever wanted a GAMS portable gaming system, but not wanted to spend all that money? Well here I'm going to show you how to make your own. Here's what you'll need. An Xbox One or PS4. Your cords. An 18.5 inch monitor. A board that fits the 18.5 inch monitor. Some TV mounts. An extension cord. 8 washers, 4 bolts, and 4 nuts, a screwdriver, a wrench, and a measuring tape, a suitcase that is at least 7.5 inches deep, and an optional case. Now that you've got all your stuff, you're ready to start building. So I got this suitcase at a thrift store for $6. So if you need a suitcase, just go to the thrift store. But when you're looking for one, you gotta make sure that it is 7.5 inches deep at least so that the Xbox can sit inside and the TV can fit on top. And what you're gonna wanna do is cut out a piece of board to put on the top of the suitcase so the TV can just fold down into the suitcase. You're then gonna wanna cut out a piece of wood that fits on the top of the suitcase right up here. You're going to want to make sure this fits in there and then just drill some holes in the corners so you can attach it to the suitcase and then I drilled some holes in here to attach the TV mount to here and then I just attached the other part of the TV mount to the TV and then the TV just slides right onto the board. Now you guys don't have to do this first but I just decided to put the TV mount on the board before I put it in the suitcase. So this made the process a lot easier. Um, I just keep the corners of the suitcase here. I cut out all the rest, but I keep the corners here so that the edge of the board can just slide into the suitcase on all four sides. And it makes the process a lot easier when you're putting the bolts through. So this is what I meant by, you wanna keep the corner pieces here because this is on pretty well right now. One thing you do wanna make sure for you do put the bolts in is that the TV mount is right side up so that when the TV is up it will slide into here and it won't be the wrong way and you'll have to take it apart and do it all over again. Now I found this to be the hardest part you gotta take your washer and your bolt and you gotta put it through the suitcase top and the board so that the board is well attached so you gotta do that on all four corners and I will do that and then we can continue with the video. So once you're done putting the bolts through, you're gonna wanna take your washer and your nut and you're gonna wanna place it over top of the other one and then just screw it on and then this should be ready to go. Now that the board is completely screwed on to the top of the suitcase, you are going to wanna take your TV and attach the other part of the TV mount to the back of the TV. Now that you've attached the TV to the suitcase and you've slid the TV into the mount, you're ready to put your Xbox or PS4 into here and get it all set up. This part's totally up to you. I just really didn't want to break my Xbox. So I made a case for it with some styrofoam and it's still able to eject discs and turn on the power button. I just put that over top when I'm setting the Xbox into the bottom of the suitcase. So I just slid the TV out for this part. Makes it way easier. Since the cords did not fit through the back here, or just because I did not want to wreck the cords, I cut back here to make the cord attachments way easier so you could just plug them in and they would not get wrecked so easily also the back of the extension cord just comes out through here and then I just put it through the top right in here you'll see that later in the video now usually they do not have cuts here or cuts here I put this right here so that you could eject discs easily and I put this here so that you could easily touch the power button 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to set up the cords and get it all set up. So I was attaching this and the power block is right on the side there. But I just wanted to let you guys know that when the Xbox or PS4 gets too hot, the fans automatically turn on. So you want to make sure that the fans on the Xbox One are not covered by anything and they are able to ventilate and get all the hot air out so that your Xbox runs smoother. Now that you've got the Xbox and the TV attached to the suitcase, now the extension cord comes in and you're just going to attach the Xbox and the TV to the extension cord and then run the extension cord through the back of the suitcase. Now the one last thing you've got to do is attach the HDMI cable from your Xbox to the TV. So once you have the Xbox and the TV all hooked up to the suitcase attached to the extension cord, you just plug the extension cord into the wall and you'll see both of the lights light up. And then you just turn on the Xbox, turn on the TV, just wait a little bit. There it is, the Xbox One turning on, turn on your controller, wait for the Xbox to load up, there we are, the Xbox is on, it is ready for you to play anywhere you want. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you really enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like this idea. Thank you guys once again. Sorry I haven't been uploading lately. Thank you guys and I will see you guys next time.